All right, everyone, welcome to another video in our Brian Fundamentals series. So to give a quick recap for what we've been working on so far, uh, I received some coaching at the beginning of the year from Peter Weimau, a really great Tekken 7 content creator. You should go check out his videos. He's got some great Brian content there, as well as uh, stuff explaining how the mechanics of the Tekken system work that are mo mostly still relevant today. So that being said, um, the main stuff that he had us work on was more down four and down back three. And the reason for these is that these are essentially moves that space out our opponent, get under moves, and also try to annoy them into press pressure so that they will start pressing into us. And that means we can start using our counter hits more on them. Because of that, uh, one of the moves that we have not talked about for a while and are finally going to cover today is down four two from Brian. So this is essentially the mid equivalent of bound, down back three and down four. This is one of his... A, one of a few of his crucial mid pokes that he uses that is a similar non-committal fast move that you can use to try and get under the opponent's skin and keep them in check. Let's go over the frames of this really quickly. So the first thing to keep in mind is this move's actually pretty fast. So look at these two. These are 15 and 16. Uh, down for two is uh, 13 frames. This is kind of like a generic down for one from other characters, uh, for, for both of you coming from other characters. Um, in addition to that, it has some interesting properties to it. One of them is an elbow. So most parries are not going to be able to parry this. Like Asuka cannot parry this. June cannot parry this. There are a few exceptions to this, like Leroy and Jin. Those two characters can parry everything. So that's it being an elbow doesn't matter. But it being an elbow is usually pretty good because you cannot parry the move. And so he can do this without a whole lot of fear of your opponent using something like a parry to reverse it. In addition to that, it is got two very strong extensions so one of the weaknesses of the move that i should first cover is the fact that this move is plus is minus six on block minus six is pretty minus um especially compared to a lot of the down four ones out there that are going to be able to uh be like minus one or even zero to loop it this one's minus six on block if i can get it to actually show it for you um, however, it's balanced by the fact that you have mental frame advantages because it has two very strong extensions that come out of it. The first one is down for 2-1. This is a natural combo. This used to be Brian's go-to 13 frame punish. Um, it gives us plus 5 frames in this game, similar to the normal one giving us plus 5. So it's about, it's kind of like, one thing I've noticed about Brian in Tekken, Tekken 8 is that pretty much everything is plus 5. Like, this is plus 5, this is plus this is plus five this is plus five like it's all plus five it's kind of makes things easier on your brain for the most part um but the other really strong one is down for two three so this move is minus 13 on block but it's a mid and if our opponent presses into it we get a huge combo it's basically the same as a three plus four you're going to get a huge combo off this and it's one of the main reasons why your opponent does not want to press into this move so i'll start by saying off the bat if we do a down for two and our opponent is mashing into this, let this rip. Especially in the lower ranks where people like to mash against strings. This is the strongest string you can throw out when you know your opponent's going to mash and you're going to get a counter hit. This is a very, very good option. Um, once you get to the higher ranks in Tekken, people are going to start re respecting that. And that's when the shenanigans start coming out. So... The main one to think about is that you can loop this you can loop this move, okay? This is actually a pretty good option to loop. And you can use that to like pressure your opponent the same way someone would just do a down forward one multiple times. Uh, and then you can, you know, do this, something like that, you know, because eventually the opponent's like, well, they're minus six, I'm gonna mash out of it, right? Um, so that's a very good option. The other thing that we need to be thinking about though is that like, if our opponent just blocks forever, right? And they're just waiting for this, we have to do something that's going to catch them. So that's where the other stuff comes in. So essentially where my head is at is essentially we can do this into down, uh, let's turn off his blocks for a second so that this will actually work. But essentially we can now, what I'm thinking is that we can use this and combine it with our pokes. So look at something, look at that distance, okay? I do down four two <laughs> into down four and look how far away our opponent has been placed, right? That's, that's really good. Like, yes, we're in jab range, but we've essentially reset the situation. And then we can back up and we're just like really far away. The other options we can do this and down back three. I think those are the two options that I want to explore doing to essentially try and get our opponents to uh, start pressing into it. Um, but similarly to um, our down back three and down four, we're going to be doing this and then like probably backdashing 
or maybe just holding block to be honest and just seeing how they react to it do it a few times see how they react to it we can mix it in with our offense as well so for example we can do this into a down forward two just to see if they're gonna press right keep in mind this will probably whiff it doesn't have the same range as like i say a jab does but it's got about the same um likewise i'm wondering if we can like like do a crouch cancel so you can do a crouch cancel by tapping up so that's how we've been looping our down back three so we'll do down back three tap up down back three again that that time i didn't do it but like this and you can also do it with down four two with like tap up and do down four two like some ideas that you have so that's where my head is at and what i want to be trying um you can also do this just a few times just to like catch them off guard though the frames is the same as if you just land one so there's really no reason there's less reason to in this game because it used to be plus five i'm plus eight in tekken seven um the other thing to talk about is that if this does hit being plus five we have a lot of things to work with we can do another down four two we can hit him with one of these and then that is going to beat a lot of stuff and same with the down four down four so we have a lot of options there that we can use um the one thing that i will that i will note is that this move is quite uh linear so for example we're gonna do side step left well i have to get him to block so let's make him block first so that one may that may not work as well but if you sidestep to the right it will definitely go around it so just something to keep in mind that it's quite linear you can even do this and it'll go around it like that's plus five you see or plus four and that happens um so that's pretty something to keep in mind we can even do hatchet and okay being plus five i guess is like where we can finally like actually catch him with it so that's good to know but essentially like up to plus four they're going to be able to sidestep us really easily and i would not i would be careful because this is kazuya kazuya is pretty bulky um i would not be surprised if like a lily for example can step it anyway so that is the idea for today and that's where we're gonna go jump into the games and try out what's up dr pupper how are you we're finally covering one of the most uh key moves and figuring out how to work it into our down back three and down four but yeah it's definitely going to be interesting because i need to essentially learn how to do down four two and wait and see what they do in the same way that i do down back three and down four and just see what they do um and i'm kind of excited to try that and we also need to remember to keep up our down back three and our down fours while we're doing this that is a crucial part of this is that the down four two complements those rather well all right we got arena here let's backdash and see what they do as usual oh she's she's just ch ch checking us out as well i'm gonna do this Oh, got us. I was trying to figure out a way to use my snake eyes there. All right, I'm going to stay on the ground for a second here and then try and get out of the way. Okay, I don't mind if they do it again. Okay. Oh, she finished it. Wow. Good stuff. I thought she was actually going to uh, pick us out there. What do you do here? Try to do the jumping in. She just let it go there. She pressed there, though. Okay, good to know. Alright. Something to keep in mind, that is launch punishable for us, so we're gonna keep looking for it. Nice. Just use a few keep out moves as well, because she is trying to get in on us. And down for two is not bad for keep out. Yeah, remember how she pressed after that first time? She's trying to get in on us. So I'm going to try and look for these plus situations that she would like to do. Whoa. Okay. Th 
Thanks, Dr. Pupper. I had a, I just had a feeling, you know? <laughs> I had a feeling. Oh, Killmax, welcome, by the way. Okay. Whoa, that launches afterwards. Oh, yeah. By the way, that three extension is natural on, on counter hit. Okay. I don't know what the actual punish is there, but we'll do that. Link, what's up? Finally able to catch a stream? That's awesome. Welcome, welcome. That's minus 13. Okay, I was curious. I knew it was uh, punishable, but... Oh, they did not want to... Okay. If they mess up, it's minus 13. What if they do it correctly? Or no, you're saying correctly is minus 13? All right, all good, Jam Jelly. All good. Have a good day at work. All good, Link. I understand. There's also people all over the world that watch, so, you know, can't please everyone. Our 9 a.m. and sometimes someone else's 1 a.m. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad you can catch this one at least. Get ready for the next battle. But yeah, we're, we'll see if we can. I mean, like, I'm trying not to pay attention to it. Right, we got a Jack. Gotcha. The correct one's minus nine. So it's kind of like Harong, I think. He's got a his uh, kick. Okay. Alright, I'm going to give some space here. Whoa, why did that catch me? Dang. I would have been able to launch it, too. Skyrocket, that's what the move's called. Ooh, beat me out. Okay, I did a quarter circle back one. I was trying to space him out. Nice duck. Okay, you got this, Ron. I feel like we got a lot of information. They're doing a lot of ducking, a lot of little lows, and then they're throwing, like, huge haymakers at us from far away. So I'm okay with, like, starting with that, basically. Okay, pretty patient. That's minus 13 and crouch. So you'll notice that we're kind of just running up and just doing it and just hoping it works in the sense that you're kind of trying to like keep them off honest right and you'll notice it's because it's a frame trap oops i did not break that i thought i broke two but maybe not it looked like a two maybe i did a two one accidentally i'm gonna leave him close to me for this I'm gonna do this just to get some distance here. They're ducking a lot, you notice that? But yeah, see? We're just kinda like keeping them in line there. They don't they're not really wanting to uh to commit. And because of that, they're really waiting. Oh, that was a one plus two, I broke two there. Okay. Don't forget to keep all these keep out moves coming so that they have something to think about there. Oh, they went with the mid. Nice. Whoa, that didn't hit. I actually thought it was going to hit. I let it rip. Now I'm dead. You don't like the sound he makes when you hit him? I really love it. I think it's so satisfying, the little, like, metal sound that happens. And what's up, Beaters? Welcome back. Oh, no, we messed it up. That sucks. They're still going to press. They're, they're not going to press. I'm seeing. I'm noticing that now. Wow, it works. It really works. All right, Robert Fan, how long are you going to stick around today? If you're sticking around for the whole stream, I would prefer to leave it to the end. But if not, we can make an exception. I can't believe that worked. I'm really surprised that worked. 
Nice. Nice. Now they're gonna do something big. I can feel it. Good blocks, dude. So essentially, we're using a lot of mids. You have a three month old, so that means you're available now. Okay, we can do after this one. Oh, all of it, hopefully all of it. Well, if you don't mind waiting till the end of the stream, then we can keep all the rank together. I would prefer that, but like I said, I don't mind Devoted, what's up? Wow, they're very, uh, insistent. Good stuff. They're insistent on that duck, so we're just gonna keep doing the down for twos until they, until they let up. Okay. Devoted, what's up, what's up? Sure. Oops. We're gonna do this here. Nice. Do I ever use quarter circle back two to call out ducks? Not really, kill max. Like, if you're going to call out the duck, you can probably launch it with either while standing uh, three or even just while standing one. Ooh, good stuff. And so because of that, uh, I think you just get more reward going for the duck most of the time. Plus, Brian's not, like, Brian's not really, like, in a bad situation when he's ducking because he has such a good, um, like, counter tool there. Down four. Oh, you mean... Oh, you mean... Use down for one, never mind. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Um, I think you can use an orbital if you're really wanting to be ballsy. Okay. They're starting to play more. You're, you're noticing they're starting to finally press a little bit more. And because of that... We're letting rip the while standing threes. Got him. See? You keep forgetting it's only minus 14 now for which move specifically? While standing one? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While standing one is only minus 14, but more characters can launch it now. So it's like a weird conundrum. Like, if you're against Brian, while standing one uh, is, like, worse than ever. Because back in Tekken 7, uh, your only option was to uh, mock punch it. It was so much pushback, you had to mock punch it. Um, but now, you can jet up for it. But devoted, my day is going good. I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I like, I, I'm excited to play today. Ready for the next exactly. Like it was actually basically safe in Tekken Seven. So now it's actually, you know, even though it's down to minus fourteen, it's more unsafe. Round one. You beat them all by launching while standing one. Man, I don't even do that. It's I'm so used to the. I'm so used to the mock punch punish, like, and I don't do it right anymore. I mean, you can't even do it. Okay. Okay. Let's just give him some time. They're pretty patient. Oh, he got me. Because of the low starter. Nice stuff. Kami Saber, we'll see if it happens. 
Don't jinx it, y'all. <laughs> we'll see if it happens. If it doesn't, that's alright. We're just trying to get better at the game. Do this. Wow, we got him. You knocked on wood. Thank you, thank you. She does down for one there. And she's starting to press, right? So we're going to let it rip. Oops, I tried to do the... Nice. Alright, Robert fan. Let's... If we get the promo, we'll play immediately. How about that? Let's put some stakes here. Of course, I'm not going to leave on this person, though. But but we will play immediately after that... Um, after that match. Oh, she got us. Got him! Tekken King! <laughs> we did it! Uh, Robert Fan, we are not friends, are we? So, pick a... What I like to do is just find a lobby. Find a lobby in the player lounge. Tell me what lobby you went to, and I will find you. And then we will friend each other. Round Sound good? Fight. Nice sidestep there. Very good. Oh, I mashed on a string. Oh, no. Uh-oh. They're here to start pressing on us. I don't mind that. Ooh, that could have been bad. Why does that keep working? And why does that keep whiffing? We suck. Alright. But yeah, just type in the chat whichever uh, server you're hanging out in. Nice sidestep. Oops. How did that come out? That was weird. Oh, I did 3 plus 4. We're dead. We're really dead. You're in front of the hot dog stands? Which server are you in, though? There's a bunch of them that you picked. I have to know which one you're in. Did you pick NA, like NA1, NA2? Nice low parry, though. Otherwise, I won't see you. Oh, I didn't do the back one combo. I was so surprised. I could have done a... Uh... Well, that was a bad combo, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Bad combo, but we'll take it. Orbital. Just to see. Ooh, nice. I tried to do a uh, Requiem there, and it didn't work. The 7.0 7. Wallender. I know, I'm sorry. Am I doing that a lot? I must be doing that a lot. Okay. They're trying to punish it. I know. The terrible wall enders. It's alright. Nice. That was really bad. I was trying to um, push, but we ended up just ja dashing in their face, which is fine. Oh, did I not break it? No, we're gonna die! We're gonna lose!
You got me. Oh, that's plus. Your America won six. All right. Well, we lost this one, so we have to play the last one in order to give him a proper best of three, and then I'll be right there. As promised. June's cheap? Yeah, I guess so, but I mean, dang. I didn't know she could even... That's crazy. Oh, we didn't get our wild standing one there. There it is. 10-4, indeed. Ooh, that worked. That felt like it was counter hit. Wow, the realign was so cheap. Okay. That's messed up. The realign's crazy, Kami Saber. Like, it really will get you. Nice. Nice stuff. Just ask him to get off of us kindly. Alright, I'm gonna do down back three here. Wow. Why did that work? Why did that work? But yeah, these down 4-2s are really getting people. And it's, like, pretty interesting, uh, like, how good it can be just, like, looping it. Because you've now got all these pokes that are, like, messing with them if they try to go for these uh, jabs and whatnot. Well, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let's go find, uh, find Robert now. Down back 3 and 1 plus 2. Yes, you said it. I think that's what I would be doing. That's where I would start. If you want... If they're stepping a lot in the neutral... Um, you can use deep dash, uh, mock kicks a lot as well, where it kind of like, you essentially wait till the very end of your dash, right? You wait until the very end of your dash to let the mock kick out, and it makes it cover a ton of range. Um, and then you get a free, uh, soccer kick afterwards. Um, and it's not, you know, it's nothing to write home about, but it's pretty good. Um, and, uh, but up close, I think one plus two is pretty good, um, Something to note is that in uh, in this game particularly, I think 1 plus 2 became quite a bit slower. 1 plus 2 is like 17 frames, and uh, technically Mock Punch, Mock Kick is uh, 15. Um, and because of that, it's something to think about. Like, you might get stuffed in more situations. You might get stuffed in more situations as a, uh, as a 1 plus 2 than you would with the Mock Kick. All right, so, Robert, I found you. I've sent you a friend request. Uh, I'm going to hang out here for a half second until you've gotten the friend request back, and then I'm going to send you a link to uh, to join a, join a room. It looks like it already went through, because I think I sent it. Oh, sent. I see. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start the... Alright, cool. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave here and I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a room. And then we'll... Uh, and then we'll be able to join from there. And I just realized I left in a really weird way. Whoops. Sorry, y'all. Uh, bear with me for a second main menu because this way we'll be able to play more and more uh unlimited or whatever because the machines are kind of weird and you have to like find ones that are free this is just a little bit easier all right so this is how i want it already then we'll send an invite So you should see that come through 
and then uh, you should see that come through and then you'll be able to uh, join. Mix between homing moves on immediate timing and delayed timing with button of choice or just choose to do nothing. Yeah, if you, um, exactly. Dr. Pepper does bring up a good point that, like, you don't have to hard read the sidewalk or the sidestep, right? Like, you can just see what they do. But, yeah, to answer the question of what do you do when, like, say they always sidestep, they always sidewalk, and we know that's all they're doing and we want to punish it, I would do, like, one plus two, um, mock kick, you know. If you're feeling ballsy, uh, one plus two, two into heat burst is pretty good um they'll have to tech roll out of it uh which is not great but it's still pretty you know that's like a pretty ballsy thing that's like probably the highest risk thing you do to, can do to call them out because you know they're gonna do it interesting point on the ford three dr pepper um also robert did you uh robert fan did you get the uh, invite to play in the room are you still there But yeah, uh, holding forward to realign forward three is a big thing. Like, I remember uh, playing someone at a local, and they were getting pretty... Well, I mean, you could do the same thing with a lot of moves, but they were getting annoyed that my back ones kept hitting. It's because I would, like, dash forward and then back one. Back one. Yeah, you, you're looking for the room? Okay, yeah, you should be able to check your notifications, I think. If you go into your notifications, you should see, like, invites or something. Like, because it's just a regular invite, but it should be through the Tekken 8 UI. Um, does anyone have any help on where those infights are? Because <laughs> the name is All Players Welcome. Yeah, Link. I mean, like, that's the thing, right? Like, it's just learning to slow down. Right? Also, does anyone have any, like, suggestion of where the, where Robert should be looking in his uh, Tekken 8 menu for, for the invite? I usually make the room, so I forget where it lives. Alright, go to the community tab. Yeah, notification list. Something like that. <laughs> Alright, so community tab, notifications list, something like that, Robert. Do you... Hopefully that rings a bell. Maldermon, welcome to the chat. Um, how do you deal with Alyssa's pressure, especially when she chainsaws you and basically kills you on block? Um... So, that's a interesting question. The first part is that chainsaws are really good. You have ways to get out of it, right? She's got that, like, really high one that's, like, plus, and you have to, like, really get a good read on it and duck it and then launch her, but it's a weird launch because the chainsaw's active for, like, six million years and you have to, like, time your thing really well. So that sucks. Um, what I would say is that you want to stay away from her initially. So, like, part of the game is you want to stay... You want to keep her from getting to that point so that you can, like, down for her, which is kind of annoying because I think when she does her little uh, low, it does a little bit of a high crush. But essentially, one thing you can try and do is that most of her approaches, her strongest approaches are either lows or that high punch, and both of those can be launched with your while standing one if you duck. Um, and then once she starts using the mid, it's a little bit more unsafe, and you can use that to, like, take your turn back and get away. But I would use a lot of down fours. And down back threes and stuff to try and like stay stay uh live. Ooh, this is a good connection. This is a really good connection. This is snappy. Nice. Okay. More hatchets, sure. Ooh, that was a really good uh orbital. The the legendary forward orbital. Alright. We got some information. Nice. Uh, unfortunate. Sure. Oh no, I did a four I did a four dash, that's pretty funny. Oh wow. You can do double jet up freaking in combos. Oh man, praise be. Wow. 
I just shimmied. Good idea. Where's that? Where's that keep out orbital? Show it to me. It's a good option. Oh no! This is actually a pretty thing to talk about, like, how to deal with. Because... Because it's like a... It's a thing that a lot of brides are gonna do. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. <laughs> Essentially dealing with these, like, get back in back ones. I think using a lot of, uh... Jabs is probably the way. Nice. Whoa! Jab, jab, jabby. Indeed. It feels like really sad to do it because you're just like, oh, I want to do something better. But that is the way. Wow, good stuff. Am I dead? Am I dead? Oh no, not quite. Ooh, nice. Good job for it. We all want to land the big stuff in indeed. Oh, right. Wrong combo. Oh, why did that beat me? Interesting. I still don't have a good feel for when that move is to, like gonna actually beat out. Wow, interesting. Oh, they finally worked. All right, first game to Robert. First game to Robert. So, but yeah, I think jab, figuring out jab timings for how to like stuff it out is essentially what we're gonna be working on here. Nice stuff. Quarter circle back one is really good. Um, just know why it works and doesn't work. Let's see, let's see. Oh, he was faster. Ugly combo. I didn't think that would work. remember to take our frames back a little bit more like the word I'm looking for is uh frame trappy yeah Mulderman like some I mean if it makes you feel better like a lot of his motions are hard regardless thanks Robert <laughs> like Quarter circle motions are already pretty hard, like, no matter your controller, right? It's hard on a hitbox, it's hard on a keyboard, it's hard on a pad, and it's hard on a stick. Like, they all have their weirdness to it, right? Probably the only time it's not easy, not hard, is, like, on a circle game. That's about it. But that has its own issues. So just don't feel too bad about it. Just put in the reps and practice, like, doing it and get used to doing it. That uh, mental frame advantage of the... Uh, of the um, first hit of our 13th frame punish is wild. Yeah. 
Okay, nice. Yes, I agree. There's sometimes an opponent's just not gonna like try to step or not gonna try and like hard duck, and then you just kinda accept that's what's happening and don't worry about it, right? Good side sets, dude. We just have to find our oops shoot. Have to find our spot and drop the combo, I guess. I think I have to go for this and then get a read. Uh, Xyz, is that is that how I say your name? Uh, taunt Jet Upper is pretty interesting. So the the easiest way to put it is Brian's taunt generates plus six frames of unblockable advantage. So it's on a, it's an unblockable move. And makes you plus six and it's a true plus six so that means anything up to 16 16 rather so anything up to 16 frames is guaranteed afterwards if you do it fast enough because it can be it can be taught uh canceled so that's the start a uh, nice um because of that a uh, jet upper even though it's a 14 frame move takes three inputs to do so it becomes a 16 frame move so what you do is you essentially do a perfect uh a triple frame perfect dread upper when the taunt hits and then you get um an unblockable jet upper that's it robert's got a really uh scary timing like you never know when something's gonna come out and that's what you have to be afraid of So I think we kind of can beat that with a little bit of more, like, taking our turn, like, aggressively. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Could be worse. Nice orbital. I need to stop um, running in so aggressively to the 3 plus 4. I think that's just a bad habit of ours. Oh my god, no! <laughs> Malderman, you're lucky if it's easy. Xyz, I'm not cheating. <laughs> I have good timing. And people can hit electrics, you know, 10 out of 10. There are people that can. Um, now, it is truly just timing and practice. Like, I've been doing this move for, like, two to three years at this point. It's, uh... And... Like, it's chiming. Like, think of it this way. Like, how how come a musician can play with perfect timing all the time? It's years of practice, right? And I'll hit you with a fun fact. Um, the, the second, the button press of Taunt Jet Upper comes out exactly at the 30th frame uh, after the taunt. So the button press of Taunt into the button press of jet upper is actually exactly 30 frames apart which is exactly 30 uh, half a second which is exactly 120 beats per minute which is one of the most common uh tempos for music so for what it's worth you know if you've got a musician background and you can play at 120 bpn then you can touch it upper to a degree good punish Fair enough. Heck yeah, good job, Malderman. Okay. Alright, the big moves are coming out. That's okay. use a metronome i'm not even joking i use a metronome for real oh he still had it i forgot 
Alright. Oh my gosh. Malderman, I'm not a musician by trade, but I did study a ton of music growing up. I did a uh, violin, piano, and... Yeah, violin and piano from when I was five all the way to when I graduated high school. Why did I come up with it? I was trying to figure out how to get better at the timing, and I was like, I'm gonna practice with a metronome because that's what I did when I was a music when I practiced music. And then I just mathed out how many beats it was and figured out it was at 120 BPM for Todd Jet Upper specifically. It's like 100 and uh, like. 26 BPM or something for the hit of back four, though. Unreal. I can't get a feel for what's going to come out. Granted, if we can block the uh, while standing one, we're going to launch it. So I need to maybe just focus on that. But yeah, that's something to try out, XCs. I would try that out for sure. Huey made it. At long last, we're at Tekken Emperor. Yeah, XCs, it's very tight. It's very tight. That's kind of not what I meant to do, but we'll take it, I guess. Maldermont, I did. Um, I'm on, uh, I'm on a Octogate, which is like probably sacrilegious, but you know, it works well for me because I struggled with my quarter circle inputs and I struggled with all my with my uh, corners. Normally, I guess the only option at that point would be to like do a Diamond Gate or something, but that's disgusting. I'm not gonna do that. Yep, and still the bat top. It comes with a bat top. Oops. We'll take it, I guess. He just ducked. That was lucky. Uh, I don't know why I did that. I'm bad. Um, Maldermoon, they don't really have a gate in the same way that ja a Japanese lever does, but there is, like, a big grommet, and it's basically, it's a grommet con combined with rubber. And you choose how hard of the rubber you want it to be for the resistance, and then you choose what shape of the gate you want it to be. And you can also take the, the gate completely off and just go gateless if you want to. No fear. Xyz, are you asking for me or in general? For me, this is it. This is I've hit my peak today. Um but in general, it's like Tekken Gob Omega or something, or Supreme Omega or something. I was trying to Rage Art and I flubbed the input. I'm so bad. Yes, that's what I mean. The collar, that's what it's called. I was like, Gromit. But yes, the collar is an octagonal one. Instead, it comes out, you get, you actually get three options in the store. You get uh, one option for, you get square, circle, and, uh, you get square, circle, and uh, octagonal. So, so I'm using that with like medium. I think actually maybe the heaviest, uh, the maybe the heaviest like uh, resistance because I'm a very uh, rough handler of my stuff. And then, um, then I just tweaked the. Uh, what I did was I tweaked the um, uh, the actuation of the lever to hit. To actuate as soon as I hit the uh, edge of the hole that's in my uh, stick. So, you know, not the actual grommet, or not the collar, but the, the plastic opening. I got it to actuate as soon as it touches the uh, plastic uh, edge, basically. And then that was what I liked. So, you shouldn't collar ride. That's very true. Um, what they said is correct. However... Um, what I would say, though, is that you can 
you can do it gently is i guess the word that i would use so it's not that i'm like right i'm not grinding against it but what i am doing is i am uh basically going from the down input that has a corner to the to the uh horizontal input that has a corner and just kind of like gently gliding to it very quickly But yes, you don't want to call a ride because you're going to break your setup, basically. What did I do differently? What happened that makes this all of a sudden working well for us? Oh my gosh, we suck. Put him back to the wall. And do something like that. Uh, I am hitting the collar. Because the collar, basically, remember how I said, like, basically I go from, like, edge to edge. But, um, I don't, well, I end it on the edge. So, like, I'm touching the, like, the stiff, this is very, uh, kind of, naughty sounding but uh basically the um opening of the plastic for my uh, where my art would be or whatever like that part i'm uh i'm touching that but then one second let me see if i can win this i feel really afraid okay but essentially yeah like this part of the stick like when this hits it makes a sound right that's not the collar that is the opening in the plastic i hit that um, which t lines up with the collar, pretty much. Well, actually, wait a second. Let me see. Is that what's happening? I lied. I'm hitting the collar. <laughs> I'm hitting the collar. <laughs> it's just a very hard collar. Um, but I hit it on the back input. I do not hit it on the forward input. Because if I hit it on the forward input, I, like, don't finish it fast enough, basically. But yeah, I do wiggle the first one. So the first one, I do it right when it actuates, basically. Oh, I can't do down back three there. Interesting. Yeah, exactly. And that's that didn't really care about the timing. That just cared about the essentially knowing how to get that input in a way that did that, right? So it's like getting the perfect jet uppers is hard. But yeah, exactly. Good block. But yeah, at that point, it's just starting it at the right time. Wow, pretty crazy. Oh, you got me. I got very greedy with that uh, hatching. Whoa! We have a chance here. Uh oh. I'm dead, aren't I? Oh my god, I'm not dead. Yeah, I'm older one. Having to do it on both sides is really hard. Weirdly enough, I have a better uh, taunt jet upper on player two side. Because I'm really bad at doing that for forward input on player one. Oop, nice stuff. Okay, good stuff. That's good. Unreal. We never know what he's going to do. And that makes it dangerous.
That was cool. Uh, no, Malderman. I, so my stick that I started with, and I'm still using right now, is Embracer Panthera, which uh, is on a JLF, which, like, comes with a JLF stock. Uh, um, yeah, and, and sandwich buttons? No. JLF lever and buttons. <laughs> Thanks, Robert. Um, yeah, it's a JLF lever and buttons. Um, and I did start with modify that, find that one, actually. Wow, okay. Whitewash your monkey does something that I'm not catching on to quickly enough. Oh. That worked. Oh, he's gonna beat me out. I'm gonna die. Use both your hands to do the directional input. What the heck? Oh, you mean like on keyboards and stuff? Gotcha. Gotcha. That's a pretty interesting strat, but it makes sense. I do think we need to eventually start calling out these depth jabs. There's so many of them. I actually meant to do the same thing as uh, Robert there. And then I did the wrong thing and got rewarded. Whew, saved it. You can't wait for the buffs. <laughs> Brian, does he, what does he need buffs on specifically? Like, what can we... What is... Besides, like, bug fixes, right? Oops. Whoa, what? Oh, wow. I actually don't understand why the orbital beats out there. I need to think, keep that in mind, though. Good duck. Sure. Nice. Actual heat pressure. That would be good. Oh, yeah. Give us back our counter hit on Northern Cross and Mock Kick. That would be so sick. And make it minus nine since it doesn't launch anymore. That makes sense. All right. How long have we... Does anyone have a time on how long we've been playing? Fair enough. Wait, I didn't even press. The second one's just natural launch. I forgot that. I forgot that. You needed a Brian Electric? He has it. It's quarter circle back one. This is literally an electric. It's got the same play patterns and everything. Wow, I'm slow. Just catch that and take some time. What? Okay. <laughs> I think it's because they gave him quarter circle back one and he's already because of that he's got really strong like space control and it's counter hit launch so it's doing a lot of things that um mock kick did just minus the tracking and so because of that they were like you have too many moves that do this we're gonna take it away from this and because of that it makes sense for it to be taken away from a northern cross as well that's kind of how I viewed it Dr. Puffer has no idea. All right, uh, Robert, do you want to do one more, two more? Let's do two more max. So I'm down for whatever, but let's do up to two more. And then we'll jump back into the rank queue and lose our Tekken King. All right. Oops, did I not? Oh, I didn't. Okay, 
Hey, we get a different stage at least. <laughs> Two more? Sounds good. Make mock punch a mid. <laughs> Been about 15 minutes. Okay. Beaters with the clock. But yeah, um, yeah, I guess getting back, honestly, getting back counter hit on Northern Cross or making it safe. Oh, I just picked it because I was thinking of a practice move. My bad. Hopefully these are good. Brian Demon Paul would be sick. <laughs> Get ready for the next battle. Veter's with the mod to see. Yep. Is down four, oh, down four to four. No, Kami Saber, it's actually not. It's got this really weird slow tracking that makes it really good. Um, Jimmy uses it all the time because it catches people. Alright, we're playing with sort of no walls for a little bit of uh, variety here. Good stuff. Wow, I suck. Why did that hit me? Oh, man. That was a really good 4-3. Jeez. It's essentially, yeah. Like basically, when you let it rip with absolute timing, it turns into delayed timing. Which makes it really good. I think I got a kill here, right? Can I do this? Into this? No, that won't kill, but it's still good. Wait, it didn't even hit. hit. What the heck? What am I doing then? I must have done it too slow. I also should have done um, the thing Mustafa told me to do before, where I have to do a back three, back two, four, after that tornado first. Oh, it finds, it came out. Good stuff. I mean, it is quite good. I definitely agree with you. Okay. Woo. No fear. I didn't realize... Oh, I didn't realize you can end uh, crouching after that. Good stuff. I need to do something. Do I ever step after down four two? Yes. Um, it's greedy though, because I don't think you necessarily should do it all the time. Because the thing about down four two is that down four two is minus six. So if you're stepping, you think they're gonna press a button, right? You think they're gonna press a button, but stepping at minus six is kind of asking to get yourself hit by whatever you're stepping. So it's like at that point, if you're really afraid of a button that you're trying to like call out. You almost just want to do uh, down for two, three at that point, right? I mean, not completely, but essentially, but it's kind of like that idea, right? It's like if you're trying to step a move, there's not a lot of moves you're actually going to step at that point. Alright, I was wondering. I was wondering if they'd do it. Yeah, down two is pretty nice for that reason. Oh man, that was almost a disaster. Okay, finished it. I saw that uh, do something weird there. This is the last one. This is the For Honor game. Wow. 
Minus two on block, but you can hella delay the second second hit. Nice. Ooh, he got us. Last round. Probably. Last round. Brian is really good in tech in the old tech from what I hear. We're on full offense again. So we need to stop that. Nice look right there. We've done that a lot, huh? I'm really surprised that uh, worked. Uh-oh. Oh no, I did the wrong thing. We're gonna die. Oh, nice. Todd gave you plus 18 back then? What the heck? And it launched, back one launched on normal hit? What the heck? Wow, that's crazy stuff. Good games, Robert, good games. Those are good. You had me on my toes. Yeah, that's wild, dude. That is wild. All right, back to the grind. That's crazy, crazy. No wonder he's so good. So back when it was easy to do it. Easier, at least. No wonder... That's that's kind of how I was always curious. Like, you know, did... How did someone... Alcatraz Bane, thank you. Good to see you again. I was always wondering, because I heard, like, you know, Nii or someone, the legend has it right, like, figured it out in the same way that someone figured out, probably Kudans or something, figured out the perfect electric on the arcade practice mode. And I was always curious, like, how did they figure? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, and how did they just probably grind for hours, you know, to get this frame perfect thing that may be real? Um, but the reality is that it was a little bit easier to do. Okay. But still, that's crazy. <laughs> I didn't even play Tekken until Tekken 7. I've never played it as a kid. Really? <laughs> yeah, I definitely think like down two and down four two accomplish different things in the same way that machine guns accomplishes a different thing as well. So I would not like only do one, it's, like do one at a time to learn why they're good. Goofer, who's my second favorite character that I'm good at? Uh, my second best character is Paul. But he's not my favorite character. I know no pain, no gains probably in the chat, so sorry. Um, I think my second favorite character might be Kazuya. Kazuya's really cool, though. I think he looks a little bit less cool in Tekken 8 for some reason. I really liked his look in Tekken 7. I thought he was so cool. Alright, we're back to this down 4-2 thing. Notice they pressed there. And it did it again. Good stuff. Oh, we got this, though. Nice. Okay. They're cool, though. That's kind of why. Oh, I have nothing wrong with how he plays in this game. I think is awesome. I just meant, like, from... Man, their defense is good. I meant in the sense of, like, how cool do they look. Man, they must really know what I'm doing. What is going on? That's weird. Not a pimp suit kind of guy. I guess so. I mean, like, he had a cool, uh, you know, full suit in 7 as well. This is kind of weird. See, if, if I don't finish, she presses. What's going on? This is weird. 
This is the first time that I've been, like, suspicious of my opponent, if that makes any sense. Because it seems like, even on hit, if I uh, go for something she's pressing, it's weird. Alright, we're gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. They just might be that much better than us, that they're just already in my head. Right, we'll check the replay after, I guess. Like, look at this! Something weird is going on. It's very sussy. Something weird is going on. <laughs> We've made it today. We're not going to beat this Oz and Senna, though. We got this round, at least. But yeah, the defense is crazy. Do a low from far away, Hugh. I'm going to try, but she's, like, constantly running in her face because she knows. I think they might just be have a really good like reaction or something, or maybe they're turning it on and off. Because now it looks normal. Now it feels normal. All of a sudden, things make sense. What happened earlier? Can they turn it on and off? I feel like the sus is gonna come out now, but I just, maybe they're just like really just on some stuff and they were like. I don't know. Why did that hit me? Dang. Sure. Ooh, that's not good for you. Alright. Nope. It's just, they were just soul reading us. And it was just like, to the point where it was like tiltingly accurate, I guess. Is there a textbook solution to Azucena's while running 2-3? I think you just sidestep it. Because they nerfed it, so you should be able to sidestep to the left. We will, like, like, with punish a bit. Ooh, that was good. I feel like I reacted to that. You go to the left, is what I would do. Nice. Wow, that's crazy. That's really good, too. I'm going. Okay. I was going to say, I'm going for the rage. Yes. Exactly. That's what, what whitewasher mocked me. For. And then I messed it up. <laughs> yeah, she's just ducking a lot. See, see, see that? Whoa! styling on us uh it really depends on how you do it basically you have to like get the timing correctly because otherwise okay haha <laughs> Max, it's not really what she's doing, though. Like, you can do this with any character that has, like, good pokes, though. So I'm not super worried about that in particular. Good punt. Good, uh, doctor. Good stuff from them. Yeah, I think... I don't know what happened. It was weird. But, um... Regardless. 
I guess we got him in the second game, and then all of a sudden, like, the same stuff from the first game happened, and I didn't know what to do anymore. Get ready for the next battle. You can do what the heck? You can do that? Like this? That's wild. Let's see if we can, uh, we'll do a simple select real quick for the, for everyone's sake. And pull her out and try it. Get ready for the next battle. Uh, I manually do two plus four, but I bind my taunt these days because it's just a little bit more consistent and I don't want to like break my hands. No, let's do it again. Yes. Like, you can get that, right? But it's kind of hard to, like, you have to get the correct timing. And it's, uh, sometimes you'll get it and sometimes you'll be really far away. Why not four, two, one? Um, you won't get the uh, launch there, Malderman. And I don't think four, two, one. Uh, sorry, four, one, two. Wait, four, one, two. What is four, one, two? Round one. Fight. Yeah, you don't lose the tornado. King Rock Johnson. I love that name. Nice. Well, like, it's your combo starter, though. So, like, you can do something else afterwards. Oh, that's the same. I always forget. Yep, yeah, it is. Looks like the rock, indeed. I love when people do that. Oh! Round two. Fight. Do you mean, uh, 4-4-1? Four, four, Probably. Um, you can. Uh, the range is actually not as good as a standing three, though. I will never do this back one combo properly, apparently, but that's alright. Walter White Brian Custom sounds cracked. That sounds crazy. Okay. These down four twos are doing work. That sucks. That's really lucky. Good stuff. Uh oh. Oh, we got him. <laughs> Walter White seems kind of cursed, to be honest. Like, that's just like a bald Brian with glasses and, like, what's he wearing otherwise? Alright, we're gonna keep uh, going for these down four twos. So, essentially, you'll see. I haven't really been commentating a lot. But you'll notice. It hits them a lot, and they're starting to press, right? Oops, nice. Steve Jobs Brian with glasses and a blue turtleneck. See, they're pressing now, so we're going to use that, and it's going to work pretty well. Should have figured out how to use the heat dash there. I think I could have done it if I just did uh, this into a heat dash, probably. Nice stuff. Oh my gosh. And I lived. So 
So you'll notice these these uh, down four twos have kind of gotten them to stop uh, ducking as much, which means I can finally start using our lows to like keep them in check. See, we're basically playing a controlling strategy against them. Oh, now we can just block. And get it. Why did I heat burst there and why not up forward 3-3, three, 3 plus 4? Uh, I already had used... I thought I already used my, uh, my bound there. Maybe not. If I... If I thought I had. Let's just put it that way. If I had it, that's me being bad. Oops. Good stuff. That's good. Oh, I didn't break it. It's okay. Wow. It worked. But you'll notice, see, down 4-2 is crazy. You can lock him down. That's an unbreakable one, Hugh? Oh, okay. Good to know. 3-3-2, dash, back 3-4-1. Okay, we'll try it. And then quarter circle forward, this, this. Okay. I'm sure we would have gotten it, but that makes sense. Get ready for the next battle. Because, yeah, there's a lot of hits on the back turn. And then on top of that, the back turn's like an awkward spacing. So it becomes a little bit harder to get other stuff to work. Basically, the idea is that we're like, oh, you're going to press? Now I'm going to do the down, the three extension. They didn't press, see? Sure. Got him. But the idea is you start off by seeing what they do. So, like, do one and see how they react. And in his case, at first he wasn't pressing. And then it was like, now I'm pressing again. You see? So that's the idea. It's like, we kind of, like, just figure out what do they want to do after them down four. Down four two. And if they don't press, just do a down back three. Oh, man. I'm doing down back three. Okay. Nice stuff. We're close to dead, not quite dead. Okay. Nice, nice. Oh man. This person plays very fast, but that's alright. But yeah, you gotta let them know that we're gonna finish it sometimes. Oh man. Wow, it got us. That's the other thing, yeah. Specifically for Steve, it's like, what are you gonna do? And we're still putting them in the blender with all this other stuff. So essentially now they're just really afraid of pressing is the idea. Good stuff. I actually was uh, got a back three instead of my down back three, which is unfortunate. But that's the idea. It's like... I'm just gonna go for this. I don't know if it's even good. Mm. 
most people are going to take their frames there, so you can just kind of catch them. And it takes away the health, too, so it's not like they can... Oh, wow. Good stuff. All right. They are uh, very, very aggressive with it, but I don't mind. No fear from this person. But I think that's actually good for us, because now we're just going to switch to more frame traps. Even more. Oh, I thought I was going to grab him. Orbital is actually very good in this very specific scenario. All right. All right. They still went for it. I should have, uh, I guess I should have rage arted again. Not uh, deterred at all, but that's all right. The quick wake up dash back one is very devious, that's for sure. They're still pressing. Nice. Um, you have to duck it, I think. Whoa, that beat us up, out either, either way? Unreal. Okay. Pretty good to know. I think I can 3 plus 4 them then. 3 plus 4 is not that slow. Alright, good stuff. Back one. Alright. Sure. Good step though. They were uh, figuring it out. Well, yeah. They uh, got us with a lot of back ones, and I... Couldn't beat it. But I do think that we were keeping up more so than you would normally because of the down four twos. Now, what was not working out was the fact that we were not able to pull our... Mo we were playing too aggressively with our Oki scenarios. So it's like, oh, he's on the ground. I'm coming in. And it's like, I'm trying to meaty with this and I'm getting caught with a back one. And that is a scenario where we probably could have done better. We could have just like waited a little bit for that reversal because we knew it would happen. It's down to as linear as down for two. I Malderman, I think it's less so. It uh, it definitely like I think it tracks a little bit better. Ford three is also pretty good in that scenario. It tracks a little bit better. None of them track super well though. Oops. They pressed again after the down for two. Something to keep in mind. Probably could have done something better. Sure. Ooh, wow, nice. Is this an actual, is it, aside from being an Obama joke or reference, is this an actual person? I know there's Majin Obama. Oh, okay. Gain some of this help back. Unreal. 
Oh, and it beat us out. Unreal. Wonder what I could have done better there. With the combo, I mean. Oh, he actually... That's for real. Definitely. I didn't know if that was going to bounce or not. Dang it. They are pressing a lot, the Ragnarok. We gotta figure out how to get, get around it with these down four twos. Alright. So notice how they don't respect that move, so we gotta start letting this uh, rip a little bit more. Wow. I thought I broke it. No! <laughs> I mean, back one is definitely the move that you uh, challenge back with, right? Like, that would... That's what I would do. Um... Especially because you think they're going to press at that point, so you just go for it. Not the prettiest combo, but we'll take it. So what we're trying to do a little bit different is just like space these moves out in a way that's like nice stuff. They pressed, okay. Sometimes it's really good. What am I doing? Oh, well. I was like, oh, I need a bound before I break the wall. But I should have done the opposite. So, good stuff, though. All right, we got one back. We managed to get one back. And we're essentially placing moves in a way that's trying to, like, catch him without being... You'll notice he's going for crazier stuff now to get into our face. You see? Still gonna do the same thing, I bet. Okay. Good block. Sometimes quarter circle back one is always satisfying. It's so good. We're just going to keep doing this move. Wow, I suck. Okay, nice. I don't mind if he does the... Uh... Okay. Whoa, that dodge, though. I was going to say, I don't mind getting hit by the sweep there. I think they're kind of afraid to do it, too. Nice. Ooh, that was bad. Back one was bad for us. We tried to back one too close.
let you do your thing. Good duck. Good duck. Oh, I just meant that, like, I think there's some things that we could have done, Kill Max, that were different. Like, I think, for example, at one point when we were this far away, I did a back one. A panic back one, if you remember my uh, older videos. And we got back ones again. So we should be doing down four, two, three a bit better. Oh, you're talking about someone else. My bad, my bad. Oh, right. I'm very warmed up today. Yeah, um, I'll give you another one, Malder, uh, Malderman. Um, don't, Peter told me this once. Do not, and I use it a lot, do not play chess against someone who's trying to eat the pieces. So let that sink in for a bit. Do not play chess if your opponent is trying to eat the pieces. The idea is that if they don't know there's another option, don't psych yourself out. Just let it rip. Yeah, it's probably... That makes sense, because Peter, I think, networked a lot with FDX. <laughs> Knight's respite. Fair enough, but, like, the point is just, like, don't overthink it, right? Yeah, exactly. Just, like, if it works, it works, right? Nice stuff. I went for that one. That's fine. Did a micro duck there. And this time they uh, did a down for two. Got it. Oh, nice. Good stuff. All right. Good first game. First round. Showing us the high this time. Oh, wow. I think that's a good idea. Um, like, don't be afraid to do it if you don't think they're going to press. But I think, likewise, don't be afraid to, like, let, go, let, rip, let rip your uh, really good moves. Like, down 4 2 3 if you think they're going to press into it, right? Good block, holy crap. We need to use more down fours. Like, I've been focusing a lot on down four two today, but my down fours are pretty, uh, non-existent. So let's see if we can mix that in a little bit. Amazing blocks from this person. Maldermon, I usually just do down 4 2, or really nothing is what I use to do a lot of the time. Whoa! Either you hatch them four times in a row, or they're going to throw something crazy. Yeah, I mean, like, honestly, I'm happy to just do hatchet into nothing and see what they do. I've kind of changed my mindset around the move to, like, people freak out so much for that move. You kind of want to just start establishing a pattern with it of like what do they like to do and then like win from there wow nice stuff good stuff what the heck all right, this person is not afraid. I'm going to do that because they're ducking a lot. Wait, that's the first time I've ever seen that happen. Notice how I've been watching what they do to the quarter circle back ones and using that to try and like get our um, offense on them. Ooh, I didn't side need to sidestep there. Ooh, 
Whoa, no, my backdash cancel got picked up. That sucks. But yeah, Link, I think sending it is fine. Good punish. Nice. Good stuff. I don't mind if you do that a few times. Unreal. They have no fear, and I'm gonna die. Dang it. I was not fast enough. That's, uh, not guaranteed that they're gonna go for the low, but that was, like, worth, uh, going for the parry there. Dang it. No, getting low parry doesn't feel that bad, but certain characters are gonna launch you at minus 13. Certain characters are gonna be launching you. I think it's like specifically if you've been like always doing something else at some time you can do it like once you can do like three hatchets like once in a blue moon right but yeah but yeah down four two launch out a hatchet for example um yeah i was trying to get a read on them and i was wrong yeah kazuya i would not hatch it at all i would just like actually i would do it some because it, at some point it's gonna get them Okay. Young Skywalker. <laughs> Knights respect. That's pretty funny. Yeah. It's the character. Everyone's cosplaying as Brian. Well, Brian's not really angry. Brian's just happy. He's just happy to be here. That looked real. Kazuya, uh, who else can launch you? I was going to say, uh, um, what's her face from Tekken 7 could? Josie could. I think Eddie can. Nice stuff. Okay. So they're basically trying to space us out with the cartwheel. I think what we can do, if we block, if we block the cartwheel, we can do back one. I think back one is our option selected, so we'll try that. Yep, exactly, Malderman. And, uh... Okay, that's pretty good. Ooh, that beat us out. Maybe... Maybe specific... Like, they just keep doing it. If it works, it works, huh? If it works, it works. They're gonna keep doing it. I don't know Ragnar, to be honest. It looked like it. Alright. That's fine. Sure. Break that. Do your thing. What am I doing? Bad combo is fine. Whoa! Why did that catch me? Oh, no. Um, Ragnar, I think they existed in very small quantities, or there were ones that were specific ones, like Steve's, uh, Steve's throw that he does that throws you on the wall is, like, a faster break window than most. It's like Victor's before they, uh, patched it. I don't know how it is in Tekken 8, but now there's, like, plenty of, like, quite a few unbreakable ones. We can, uh, definitely beat that. Okay. Alright, we suck. I'm trying to do the right one. This works, though. Oh, no! Oh, you got me. Nice try. We tried. Okay. She 
can get him really quickly. Dang it. Maldoran, you can hatch it in uh, neutral if they're doing nothing. Or if you can, like, basically get them to do nothing, right? But yeah. But every Everyone has a style, and there's a reason why, like, certain stuff works and certain stuff doesn't against various players. I don't feel like I know enough about these flowcharts yet. Like, I haven't seen them enough and lived. And they're ready for me. Oh, I thought I low parried. Alright, good stuff. Pretty interesting, to be honest. Like, I feel like, weirdly enough, the higher ranked players now are playing with more mashing, which is kind of interesting. Malderman, I'll tell you another piece of advice that Peter gave me. Peter said, you have to forget everything. Unlearn everything. It's okay to get hit by a hop kick. Okay? And the reason why is that sometimes people are going to get a read on you. But if you play safe all the time... You will, yes, it makes you feel bad, and it's scary, and it can, a single hop kick can get someone to stop doing an entire sequence for the rest of the session. Like, I can be doing down for, I can do hatchet into, I can do hatchet into this, or something like that, and get hop kicked one time, and now I don't do it ever again, and I only do a mid, I only do a frame trap. But because of that, now they don't have to worry about the mix up, right? And that's the thing. Like, you have to be okay with making them... It's like, basically, this actually goes all the way back to the down four situation, right? I'm doing this. When are you going to do something? All right, look at how much damage we did. We did, like, seven in a row. And if they hop kick us there and they get a combo, we're even. But let's see it. Show it to me. You see what I mean? Like, that's kind of the thing. Oh, my God, Peter's in the chat. How's it going? Good to see you. <laughs> I'm just quoting you because it's easier than coming up with my own advice. Sorry, man. Okay, nice stuff. I need to back up a little bit. Down four here. Yeah, they press. But that was with a... Uh, that. What are you going to do normally? A uh, low. Okay. Oh, that's... I don't know that string. Okay. Oh, I thought I broke it. I was I was watching myself, assuming that I'd broken it. That time I did not break it. That's why he's hard to play, Malderman. And I just jabbed while I was reading chat again. That is a co a habit that only happens when I play games uh, on stream. All right. So let's. That was unfortunate, but we'll take this. Yeah, safe kind of, I guess, really is talking about the frames, right? What am I doing? And why, what are they doing? Okay, that's fine. In this game, I think I still do mock kick. I'm mock punch, rather. Mock punch, I think, is the punch there. Let's be okay with, like, kind of spacing out for a bit. Alright, pressed after that. I should have expected that, to be honest. That was just really good spacing, I guess. That's minus 12, I think, now? And we need to be a little bit careful with uh, what we're doing here. Because they're mashing a lot with a lot of high-crushing stuff. So because of that, we need to make sure that what we're doing is a frame trapping mid so that we can get that reward. Yep. 
Oh, that time I got hit. Unfortunate. That's okay. And then just do a frame drop. Because they are going to mash a lot. That's what I was wondering, Peter. I'm not sure. What is it supposed to be? In seven, at least. Okay, that sucks. Yep, it's not Jet Upper. It's definitely Mach Punch, like I said earlier. Supposed to be minus 17. In s okay, I'll try it. I'll try a punish. Minus 9? Forward 1 plus 2. That's like this, right? I'll be honest. I'm not very good at Jack's frames. I know, like, back 1 and that's about it. Well, I tried. That was not correct. That one, I think, is what he means. It is. We learned a new thing. These throws, man. I'm not breaking a single one of them. It sucks. I'm playing really badly. Okay. I sidestepped. Man. So what are we going to do? How am I going to regroup? That's plus. Oh no, I tried to duck, uh, tried to jab. It's fast. It was fast though. No, the throw rather means that he was actually plus. How do I pick that up? It's so far away. I have to just do jab. That one looks like it's uh, launch. All right, we'll regroup here, I think. Will this break the wall? Yeah, nice. Oh no, he got us. I should have waited. They've already shown us that they'll basically mash on everything, so why am I trying to catch with a down four there? I should, my spidey senses should be going off. What are you gonna do here? Oh, man. Yeah, we're talking about Jax. Okay, they got us. I was shook. I mean, to be honest, I didn't know what to do at that point. We should have probably started exploring when to put in the down fours and then figured out what they were responding with specifically after that. So that, like, let's say he's... Because at this range, he has a few options. He can do the, the low, right... He can do the low, he can do the forward, forward, the forward 1 plus 2, I guess is the input. Um, back 1 plus 2. Is that what he was doing? Because I did launch it, I thought. I thought I launched it two times. The two times that I tried to launch it, I launched it. So I assumed it didn't change. Alright, we'll lab it. Wait, did we just get another jack? Yeah, we'll lab it. Back 1 plus 2? Okay. Okay. This is a kind of cursed uh, costume. What did you do there? You did a power crush. Okay, nice. I shouldn't have been so antsy to get in. All right, I tried the throw because he showed me a power crush, but it did not work. It's okay. What at this time? Sidestep into something. Okay. Is that dragon off? That back one came through. Uh, who's an odd? Someone ban them, please. Ooh. It's been hard getting a read on which which thing they're gonna do. I think they're more likely to do a high. Oh, 
Oh, nice power crush there. All right, they did show us uh, the low two times there, though. Oh, nice. So we'll probably be able to catch it the next time. I think that's back one plus down back one or something. Either way, the low after a down four. That's the only thing pattern that we've seen so far. And of course, it didn't work there. Ha! That looks like I can uh, launch it. Okay. We're gonna try. I'm not ducking in time, but that is a high. Oh, there it is, but I need to dash up. Can I launch that? Nope, it's plus, it's a high. Alright. But yeah, I don't think it goes any further in Tekken 8. I think it may, if anything, it's like less distance in this game, but it's probably the same. Nice. We, uh, didn't quite get our distancing correct there. Trying to get that distance again. Oh, man. I tried to duck that time. And then a bad break. It's alright. Oh, man. I'm going to do this just to get some, like, favorable, like, positioning on the wall here. Nice. Yes, Peter, it's like everything throughout the game has been messed around a bit. So, like, those jet uppers were not from super far away, and they seem to be, like, barely picking it up. Um, and then the, uh, thanks. Um, but then other stuff like Brian's wall standing one, you know, they got, they also made those more launchable as well. So it kind of depends, I guess. But yeah, the pushback seems to have been altered a lot in this game. Okay, that's a frame track I'm realizing. That is still launch, I'm just bad. Okay, nice. That back one was bad with me. I thought that was a one break. But I guess it was a 1 plus 2. What do I do here? Mama Bagels! Welcome to the welcome to the stream. Welcome. And Sev, welcome to the stream as well. I do, Ragnarok. It's so cra I know I'm doing it. But it's because I, I just need to not reach chat as much. So if anyone has suggestions of how to interact with chat during a game besides don't and shut up. You know, I'm all ears. That is hard to react to on a, like, on a duck for me. Nice low crate. Holy crap. I don't mind, though. Oh, man. I pressed because I thought it was over. Good stuff. KBD three times so I can read more? Okay. So you notice they're very afraid of these lows already. What is this uh, backing up from them? It's like so wild. All right. I feel like that that sequence has happened quite a few times at this point. Oh, no, and I'm dead. Don't read chat, Peter. <laughs> That's what I was wondering. <laughs> That's what I was wondering was going to come out. Wait, we won the first one? I honestly thought we lost the first one. Okay. I'm really trying to figure out this sequence that he's doing that ends with the drill. It So that's plus, and I think he ended it with... Well, I mean, the last time he did it, he ended it with something that was the launch punishable. Okay, that's uh, 10, by the way. 
finally the duck. Oh my gosh, it took so much brain power to actually get that. Hey, the Warrior King, welcome. Hello from the US. Ooh, that sucks. I'm gonna stay standing. I heard what Peter said earlier and I tried to mock punch it, but I don't know if you could just do that. Oh, the wake up back ones come back. They've made an appearance because I'm stressed. I'm going to back up a little bit and force the mix up here. Okay. Okay, yeah. That's what we've been talking about, whitewash, uh, whitewasher. Just do it? Okay. I will just do it. It is easier in this game, four board inputs. Unreal. I must have ducked. I must have ducked. Alright. I'm not very... Heat just happened. We at least are seeing that now. get that chip in. It's actually kind of worth it. That's the one, right? What the heck? Why did the second... Jack's hitbox is really, like, throwing me off because I feel like I just, like, messed things up. Okay. That's also launch. Oh, I thought I saw a whiff. And then I ducked. Alright, he whiffed there, but the same idea. And I was wondering if it would come out that time. Alright, I pressed. Oh, uh, we traded, though. Why did we trade? Dang it. Wait! I didn't know Jack could do that, too. Crush my jab like that? my jab too what's going on you still playing on a talkie these days i thought that's what you played at one time oh do we have this oh, what do i do here do i do this oh it always did man i'm just learning what it's like to be a brian player then All right, we're going to lab this out, chat. We're going to lab this out, and then we're going to play one more set because we're running a little over time, and then we're going to be done. So in the last 10 minutes, that is our agenda. Okie dokie. Character, no, character select. Uh, quick select. I think so too, Peter. That seems to be something that they like as a theme wanted to do is like prevent as many of those situations. There's still a few though. Victor has a new one. Uh, what is it? Um, Exposition, his like flying in thing. That can only be a mock punch, I think, from Brian, for example. So they still exist in this game, but not as much as before. So that move, right? Okay. Well, now I have to. I'll just do this. And then we'll do this and reset it. And then play. Oh, I need to turn off matchmaking for a second here. Alright, let's see what it is. Minus 19. It's a weird pickup, though. Look at that distance, though. It's like max uh, jet upper range. So, weirdly enough, it's really hard to land the knees. But you can do it. So, let's do it from a little bit further away now. Like from here. From here. Obviously, that's not going to work. So it really is distance reliant. Like from here. Yep. 
you have to do that. And I didn't even get the punish. Whoa. So it really depends. See? That's kind of weird. That's what it was. It was shy that he does. That one can only be, uh... That one can only be mock punched. And just for size... Wait a minute. Wait, what the heck? Let's try from... Okay. Yeah, so you have to do that. You can do it a little bit earlier now. Now in this game, you can basically do... I forget that in this game specifically, you can buffer a single four, and then you're only timing the second forward. So you'll notice, like, look how far apart my forward inputs are there. Why would I jet up rim? Yeah. Yeah, I forget you can do that in this game. Like, look at look at my inputs for a second, y'all. See? Like, it's uh, seven frames of neutral. Yeah. So you can just make it as soon as you gain your control of, of, of your character back, basically. Even in Tekken 7? Really? Wow. I was hard-moding everything. I was just, like, trying to do... Basically trying to do the entire input in my... Uh, after I got out of hit stun, or block stun rather. That's wild. I was playing the game on a handicap this entire time. That's weird. I saw a single video that lied to me then. Can we do this? We didn't try, but yeah, that whiff's still. We just tried it and it did not work. All right, this is our last set for today, y'all. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Get ready for the next battle. Hey, Peter, thank you for dropping by, though. In parenthood calls, I understand. But yeah, thanks for dropping by. It's good having you. Yeah, what Whitewasher said. I know that got easier. Sir Bone, y'all, welcome to the chat. Press the button. They're still pressing. Okay. I will remember. Whoa, I messed that up. Okay. Duck was bad. Wow, did that really work? Don't listen to chat, indeed. I had a feeling. It's like, if you're going to actually stop there... Okay. Nice. Nice smash. I still think you're going to do it. I'm just going to duck again. sense nice side set though all right so they're playing pretty quick i just realized they're attacking keen so i should have been expecting that okay Ooh, that was a really cool uh, shimmy back So, they're playing a pretty interesting, like, outboxing pattern. Man, sick of me with the 10 viewer raid. Thank you so much. Good to see you, dude. Quarter circle forward. Uh, Sir Boneyard, I'm going to tell you something that's going to make you sad. 
That's not guaranteed either. You can uh, jump jab, and it beats it, even at the wall. Um, the guaranteed setups are at the wall. It's this. That's guaranteed. And you can also just do a back, uh, back one plus two by itself. Everything else is fake. Literally a jump, ju jump jab. I'm not even joking. Why does this work against everyone? That's like my scrubbiest thing that I do, and it works against everyone. So I'm gonna keep doing it till someone figures it out. I'm gonna try against like some of the locals, and they're like, "I watch your stream." They don't have the punishes, so we at least have that going for us. That's minus 10, 100%. It's sidestep. They like to sidestep when they're uh, minus. We're going to do this just to get some pressure here. Nice. Well, Ragnarok, it's pretty safe, but... What I mean, yes, basically, a, I think up to a 12 frame, no, that wasn't it, because you're basically, the taunt is going to, I'm trying to remember how the math worked, I think you can jab out of it, for example, no, you can't, but you can move out of it, or something like that. to launch that, right? Nice. Basically, what works is you do a back three, cancel, and do down back one plus two. That'll work. Wow, that sidestep was bad. Whoa, what did I do? I think we died. Oh, no, we have one more round. Okay. Someone lied to me. I thought he had no punish. Right, that's a high. Dang it. They really got us there. Nice. They really got us there. Good game to them. Alright, I lied, I guess. Sigaby's here, so we'll do one more set before we actually send the raid to the next person. But yeah, so... But they just they just punched us. They just did a 10 frame or something. That's why I was confused. But let me, uh... Let me show you what I mean. So... Taunt hits on frame... Taunt hits... Taunt hits on frame 28. So, you look at this. On frame 28, that'll hit. In addition to this, in addition to this, if we have uh, this, oh, we have to get you set to block all, huh? We're plus 18 here. Sorry, that's what you, we are. You're plus 18. You're only plus 18. Now, in this scenario, you're plus 17, right? So they're basically the same. But because of that, if this hits on frame 28, and that you're plus 18, you will trade with a jab. Um, yeah, we respected Pikachu Boo too much, probably. We should have done that. So because of that, it's not guaranteed. However, the only stuff that's guaranteed is on tech roll if you do a down back one plus two, that's guaranteed, um, or back three down back down back one plus two. Um, you can also after one plus two two. Um, and they tech roll, you can catch them with a uh, taunt as well. And same with uh, up forward, his new machine guns, up forward uh, 2 2 2 uh, in the open if they tech roll. Check their patience here. Just nothing there. Good shimming from this player. Whoops. That was, can't believe that worked. If you're gonna sidestep, I can just do it again. And then we'll do that. Nice. Wow. 
Yeah, Shaheen's pretty rare in this game. Alright, now they're now they're on offense. We finally have them getting in our face. Ooh, nice orbital though. In our face. I mean, yeah, I was just not I don't even have the right uh combo for it. But you'll notice now they're in our face. So like I'm done with this. We're in your face. We're just gonna we're just gonna raid you out. Not raid you out. Uh aggro you out. Nice low. Nice, uh, low crush. Good orbital. Alright, we gotta slow down a bit, because now he's got us pressing. And that's not good. Oh, I thought that was, um... thought that was a counter hit. Okay. So you'll notice I'm playing quite cagey. Just take that damage there. What do you do? You sidestep more. I feel like I could have... Did they disconnect? I feel like they're Tekken crashed. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Well, I still owe you one more best of three. So I'm going to do one more best of three and then we're done. I don't think that was a plug. It didn't seem right. I think that was a crash. So, for example, if I do this, so if I do this, no, I need something that puts them to the wall and doesn't trigger it. But basically, if they tech there and you do down back one plus two, you can catch them with a double taunt. Yeah, he bursted them back to the desktop, indeed. Get ready for the next battle. Oh, really? That kind of makes sense, Sir Boneyard, but I'm on an old Intel, like an older one, and it still gets the error quite a bit. Like, we're lucky right now, knock on wood, we haven't been getting it for a while, but uh, I've seen it a lot. Very crazy that they did it there. I think I dashed, maybe because of the dashing. today we've made it to the steve ladder and steve's a bad matchup for us but it doesn't mean we can't win get a bit of a twitch uh read there nice did another one can i do this Nope, that's not good. Ha! That's pretty funny. We have to duck that, I'm pretty sure. I just, I tried very hard to, like, block it there, and it did not work. They're trying to stay in our face, so I'm gonna use some down force to keep them out. Keep them out. At least they're not punishing that, but... We can use something else now. Good stuff. Nice. I think you got me. No fear. 
Yeah, that's true. Sidewalls, not great there, but. Ooh, okay. Getting a little antsy here with these back ones. That makes sense. Oh, we're dead. Nice stuff. Can you parry him? Yes, you can, Sir Boneyard. Um, there are certain times when you want to. I think one, two, three, four, probably the best way to deal with it is a parry, is my guess, given that uh, he's like minus three or something if he goes in the peekaboo, right? Like, I thought he's like very safe if he goes in the peekaboo from it. Um, or maybe not, because otherwise he'd be doing it a lot more. But like, there are some times when you want to parry him. Bad while standing one, it's okay. Well, you don't you don't let rip the uh you don't let rip them rock punch then. Nice. Nice blocks, jeez. Boneyard, what do you what are you seeing? Are people not running it? I mean that's alright. Double that and they just duck. Interesting. Good thing. Time though, what the heck? I went for my uh, rage drive, but mate rage ride, and it was so slow that it beat me out. Okay, I've been wondering if there's like anything that would beat us there. playing keep out against me that's what it's starting to feel like okay you got me I went for a duck but yeah that was crazy they beat us pretty pretty fair and square so don't really have much to say for it except we need to get better at uh, using these down four twos and stuff to like lock our opponent down while also switching back to defense because they're essentially they were essentially letting us come to them and just like blowing us up and i think we're getting in trouble for that so that's probably the best uh idea that i've got on that one Sorbonne, really that's interesting i mean I, I feel like that happens in a lot of ranks to be fair uh malderman i think it's a low collar i think it's a low collar yeah, I think it's a low collar. I could be wrong, though. But anyway, that is all we've got for today, y'all. So let's go ahead and uh, do our sign up off real quick, and then we will go ahead and pass the raid forward. Uh, it's not a no collar for sure. I can see a collar in here. Like, I will show it to you, hopefully. I don't know if it's actually visible, but uh, there is a collar in there. You see? But that's where the gate is. That's what the gate is, essentially. But yeah, all right. If you're coming from YouTube, be sure and like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Really helps us grow. We're really seeing the new people show up. And if you ever want to watch it live, it's going to be at twitch.tv slash Von Tybin. That's V-O-N-T-I-B-A-N. We stream Brian Saturdays and Sundays, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Central Time. So come check us out there. We also have a variety stream that's going to be sometimes Brian, like right now. 
and then every now and then we're going to play another character to try and understand how they work. That's going to be on Thursday evenings, 8.45 p.m. to 10.45 p.m. Central Time. That schedule, as well as a Discord link, is in the description below. You can come join our family there if you have any questions for me or want to hang out with us outside of the games. And with that, I hope your Brian journey is going well. I hope you are learning new things and always getting better and just, like, taking those losses as a way to get better. Um, and with that, thank you so much. Hope to see you in the next video.